have to admit, I bleed green and I love naked bikes. So I was stoked to see an update to the Z1000 Street Fighter as well as the Ninja 1000. Take a look. So Kawasaki, this, this year and next year, will celebrate anniversaries of some of our, our key sub brands. The Ninja, in fact, exactly 30 years ago from one week from today, uh, we introduced the, uh, the Ninja 900 to the United States. So 2014 will celebrate 30 years of the Ninja brand, uh, which has been one of our lifeblood in the industry. Uh, the Jet Ski uh, is celebrating 40 years of history as well, so we, and uh, 40 years also on the KX brand. Now uh, the Supercross championship winning three times in a row with Ryan Villapoto, the KX 450F. So this year we also celebrated a very important win in the World Superbike Championship with Tom Sykes and the ZX-10R. Um, and so we're very proud of that, uh, that win as well. AMA Supercross Championship as I mentioned, AMA Motocross Championship as well with Brian Villapoto, and the AMA Pro National Expert Twins Championship with Brian Smith, which has typically been dominated by our, our friends over there at Harley Davidson. Probably your first question is, what does Sagomi mean? And it means, in uh, Japanese, it's, it's sort of a predatory, uh, threatening, ominous presence. And that's what they try to achieve with the styling, which we label Sagomi. Uh, the bike has the updated motor, the uh, 1043cc 1000, which improved the uh, mid-range and the top end. It's got uh, new instrumentation. A uh, larger fuel tank for a uh, greater uh, fuel range. It also has the new six-spoke wheels and deadlock tire combination, which combine for a 3.3 pound weight loss of unspun weight. Uh, up front, one of the main features besides the performance, which adds to the performance, is the ABS uh, monoblock brake. It's, uh, you'll notice they're also Kawasaki labeled, which is the first for us. And then of course we also have the, uh, the addition of the LED headlights here. Uh, gives the, the bike a very ominous appeal, as we, we spoke before about the Sagomi styling. So those LED headlights contribute to that, that sort of urban look uh, on the motorcycle. So, and, and, the, and, the, and the styling really does represent a, a change in sort of what Kawasaki uh, is doing. So we're adding some premium elements to the motorcycle, giving it a feel for, the, for, the, for this kind of user, uh, which, is, which is going to take them into tomorrow's motorcycling community. So um, this is the 2014 Z1000 ABS model, and uh, we do of course you to take some photos there. So its twin brother, as I jump over, its twin brother is the 2014 Ninja 1000 ABS model, uh, with, shown here with a quick release uh, side bags and uh, accessory options of uh, the tank and uh, seat pylon bag. Uh, again, it, it shares the uh, same motor as the Z1000, the 1043, and it's been improved and retuned for more mid-range and uh, upper high-end RPM power. But uh, one of the things we wanted to do with this bike is make it more versatile. So we also have the option of the K KQR saddlebags, which are a dealer installed option. They run off the same key as the ignition and they're quick release. And one of the cool features about it is when they're removed, it doesn't look like you have a bunch of rackets hanging down. It still it looks very similar to that bike with addition of a little bit larger grab rail for the passenger. Uh, shares the same ABS monoblock front brakes with the Kawasaki branding on them. It has spring preload, is now hydraulic and easily adjustable from back here so you can tune back and forth when you're going from uh, like a canyon ride by yourself on the weekend to two up riding. It's an easy adjustment for you. Um, Larger tank capacity for improved uh, fuel range and a range of accessories. I will introduce the Terex, the Terex model. Now, this model is shown on the floor is the four-seater, uh, but we introduced this year the 2014 Terex two-seat version uh, to the U.S. market. Now, this is an upgrade from the previous Terex model that we had uh, on our line, and it features some. Um, 
some premium upgrades. Tell you a little bit about the side-by-side -side market is a very fast-growing segment in the United States and Kawasaki continues to invest in product uh, to, to address the needs of this growing segment. So Kawasaki, if you're watching, I need one of each. Three words, long-term tests. Just make sure they're green, okay? <laughs> anyway, don't forget to check out the rest of our coverage from the Progressive International Motorcycle Show on our YouTube channel. Lots of videos to check out, so make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram, all at Cycle Sports TV. And for Cycle Sports TV, I'm Patrick Harris.